Alrighty, so in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at Ubuntu Unity 21.04 on the Raspberry Pi 4. So I've actually reviewed the older versions of this operating system on my channel before, so I'm actually pretty excited to check out this newer version and really see what they've implemented and what they haven't. Before we get started, I do want to mention how I actually got this installed. So you go over to this website right here and you download it for the Raspberry Pi 4, you download the 21.04 version. After downloading, you actually do need to extract it for it to work correctly. After extracting it, use Raspberry Pi Imager or Bolana Etcher, either flash it to an SD card or a USB stick or SSD drive. It will boot on basically any device, so it is really a nice operating system because it supports all types of drives on the Raspberry Pi 4. But now let's take a closer look at the desktop and really see what they've implemented and what they haven't. So right here, the first thing I noticed is this awesome new wallpaper. So it's basically the Ubuntu wallpaper, the stock one, but they really changed it around, changed the colors, and give it this dark theme. It really does look pretty slick in my opinion, while still keeping that nice dark theme. I like the colors of this operating system, and this is actually using the Unity desktop environment. So the, the Unity in interface used to be the default Ubuntu theme. So this used to be what Ubuntu really looked like until Ubuntu actually switched over to GNOME. After switching to GNOME, this project was actually kind of forgotten about, and it really wasn't used much until... In 2020, the Ubuntu Unity team actually did a whole remix and put this back into the Ubuntu desktop, which I think is pretty cool. And to see it running on the Raspberry Pi 4 is also another really awesome thing. So right here, the first thing I noticed on the desktop is on the top right here, we have our power button, we have our time, sound, mail, Bluetooth, and then we have Wi-Fi, and then we, if we want, we can have Ethernet, which I am using currently. And then on the left right here, it just says Ubuntu Desktop. It's not like Ubuntu GNOME. If I click on this, nothing does happen, and yeah. And right here, we actually have our application menu, which I think I really do like this one. It works very well. You can also click the super key if you prefer, which is like the Windows key. Click that, and then you can actually search for any application you want up here. It will work perfectly fine, like File Manager search it and it comes up immediately so that is really awesome to see on here and then right here if you click right here we have applications here are just all of our applications we'll look at in a minute if we click right here we have our files so you can actually search for files on here it's a really cool concept to be able to search all your files on your desktop like this and i actually really do enjoy this type of feel it looks really cool and then right here we have our media files if we had any videos we could play it from here here we have audio and then here we have photos i obviously don't have anything right now because i just flash this operating system so now, after that right here, we, ha we have Firefox, the two LibreOffice applications, and our software center, and our settings on the desktop right here, on the bar. So now let's take a closer look at the pre-installed applications. So let's, Firefox, we'll take a look at in a little bit. LibreOffice, they're just the classic apps. I don't really need to take a look at it. And then our software center, I think it probably is basically just the default GNOME software. And yes, this is the default GNOME software. So nothing too special about this. They're mainly snaps, and I do like that the app things do come on the left right here. It kind of gives you that Mac OS feel, which I'm really used to. And when you maximize, it actually maximizes the whole thing, which actually is a really cool concept, and I really do enjoy it. So right here we have all our applications. They look pretty cool. If we wanted to search for something, let's say like HTOP, we just search for HTOP because it probably would be in this app center i'm guessing i could be wrong though because there might only be snaps in here but it definitely does take a while oh here we go we have a shop and it's already installed so you see it works pretty well it's basically just the default ubuntu gnome software nothing special here here we have system settings and i'm pretty sure system settings is also actually just gnome no Oh, it's their own settings manager. I thought it was just the default one. No. So it kind of looks like that XFC settings manager where you have everything here. And it really does look really cool. If we go to appearance, we have our wallpapers right here. So let's switch our wallpaper and really see what we have. So there are a lot of HIPAA wallpapers in here. Let's go for that one. Yeah, that one actually looks really cool. It's definitely a more brighter desktop, but it gives some more life to your desktop and really makes your experience much better. That's why I kind of like that one. It does look really cool. Behavior, we have some more settings in here. And yeah, so there are definitely a ton of settings in here that you can go through and check. They really have laid this out really good, pretty much like Mac OS, and it does look amazing. And then we do have the trash icon on the bottom right there. But yeah, so if we go back to show applications and we go over to all applications, we can check out ba basically everything we have. So if we go right here, C3073 and results. So here we can really go through everything and really see it well. So we have additional drivers, 
I'm just gonna basically go through these and mention the really important ones. So we have Disk Usage Analyzer, which is pretty cool. Our file app, I actually do really like this file app. The coloring and the theming in it does look amazing. The little blue tiling on the left right here really makes this look awesome. And this does look like it's the Nemo File Manager. I could be wrong though, but it really is a clean, nice file manager. Go back right here. And yeah, so this is kind of bummer. here we go. And then we have Firefox. Like I said, we have all the LibreOffice applications. We actually come pre-installed with the GW package installer, which is actually really cool that they put that pre-installed, which is really nice. Oh, and it looks like it crashed. So that app must not be supported on here yet because it just immediately crashed. So there must be some bugs with that little application. We have mouse and touchpad, mouse, logout, reboot, stuff like that. We have terminal, system monitor, and stuff like that. So there really aren't that many applications that are pre-installed in here that you would think are out of the thing. Most of these applications are pretty similar to the default GNOME because this desktop and GNOME actually do have a lot of similarities, but some people enjoy this one more and some one don't. Oh, we actually do have the Synaptic Package Manager pre-installed. That's also a big plus because I actually am a huge fan of this package manager. It basically is a... GUI for the app package manager. So it's really nice to see pre install on here. We can really search for anything we want and it will show up. Like, we can actually just search for, let's say, NeoFetch. Hit search and it will automatically find NeoFetch for me and I'll be able to install it straight from here. So it's a really nice package manager if you're not familiar with the terminal yet. And I would recommend checking it out because it really does work really well. And yeah, so these are basically all the pre-installed applications that come on here. They're not that special like I just mentioned, but yeah. So now I want to go over and take a look at the system resource usage. So we open up our terminal right here. And first thing I do want to mention, I really enjoy this theming. This nice blue terminal really does look really slick. It looks amazing. So if I type HTOP right here... And and right here on idle right now, we're using almost 1.2 gigabytes of RAM. That is just a lot of RAM. That's kind of saddening for me because... 1.2 gigabytes of RAM is a ton of RAM for a small device like the Raspberry Pi. So this is basically a GNOME. It uses almost a bit more RAM than the default GNOME. So yeah, that is kind of a problem with this operating system. It uses too much RAM. Definitely like our core usage and everything is down, but our RAM usage on idle is just way too high. So that might be one of your concerns when trying out this operating system because it really does use way too much RAM. So that's all I can say about the RAM usage. If we go over to NeoFetch real fast, in NeoFetch right here, we have the default Ubuntu logo, Ubuntu 21.04 64-bit, our rev model, and our kernel is updated the default Raspberry Pi kernel, and our desktop environment is Unity, and I'm actually pretty surprised to see that the window manager is Compiz. That's pretty cool. Our window manager theme is Yaru Uni Dark, and all these default themes, and we are using the GNOME terminal right now. But yeah, these are pretty cool to see. It's a really interesting operating system, and it's looking pretty cool. I do want to check out real fast if we're using Wayland or Xorg. So if we go over to Settings, go over to system settings real fast i want to check out and see what kind of what we're actually using not that settings the other one there's actually two settings on here i was actually pretty surprised to see there's the gnome settings and then there's the other settings i'm not entirely sure why we have two settings pre-installed but i mean they both do work and i'm actually a bit more familiar with this so we go to about right here it should say if we're using wayland so we're we're on xorg right now so i'm not sure if this does use wayland but xorg x11 is also working well so there's nothing really problem with that but yeah so there's an internal error so that might be a problem i'm just gonna dose in but now let's go over and check out some web browsing slash youtube performance in the firefox web browser which is the default web browser on ubuntu unity so right here we are in firefox i'm gonna go ahead and just full screen this guy up and then let's type in like pi4 so we're in yandex right now Oof. and we go by raspberry pi4 model b and yes this is looking good web browsing performance definitely smoother than the older version they maybe have changed some gpu acceleration settings and stuff like that but this is definitely amazing web browsing performance definitely smooth definitely usable on the raspberry pi4 if you go over to amazon.com sorry for that 
and yeah amazon.com right here it also loads up pretty quickly everything is smooth so web browsing in the default firefox web browser man it's good i'm surprised with it and i'm happy it is definitely some good performance so you can be confident with the web browsing performance you are going to have pretty good performance if we go over to youtube.com now i want to check out some video playback Cause I'm there and I actually have it saved right here. Big Buck Bunny 720p video on Ubuntu Unity. Let's see how it actually ends up performing. Is it gonna be good? Is it gonna be bad? I'm not sure yet, but I'm interested to see what the performance is gonna end up being. So here we are. Let's click play. Click play real fast. Come on, boy. Hurry up. Go to settings right here, and we are on 480 right now. We want to up that to 720. And then we'll turn on stats for nerds as well just to see how it actually ends up being so so far it is not looking the greatest let's go right here to the middle just to skip through i don't like the beginning right here the beginning is kind of slow and you can't really tell if it's playing good or not the middle it has more activity and it's just a better part so right here we are and it's at 720 and the video playback in my thing might look a bit slow, but my capture card is a bit wonky right now, so that it could be the reason. Because up here it's saying zero frames are being dropped, so that is pretty good 720p video playback. But like I said, it looks bad on my capture card. That's because I'm having some problems, but it really is not the worst video playback. So video playback on here is looking pretty promising at 720p. 1080 probably is worse. If we go full screen, it actually went into full screen pretty cloak pretty fast actually and like i said this is my screen capture don't worry about the video playback i can't really test it properly right now but yeah it goes into full screen pretty smoothly and it's amazing to see this pretty this much good video playback on this operating system so that is some encouraging video playback and yeah so this is the firefox web browser on ubuntu unity 21.04 so yeah I really do love the search part. It really works incredibly well. It's incredibly responsive and it works well. So yeah, I mean Ubuntu Unity 21.04 definitely has a lot of improvements in the visual part plus in the performance. It definitely performs a lot better on my Raspberry Pi 4. I say the performance on here is pretty similar to the default Ubuntu GNOME. So if you're already using that, you might want to check this out because you do really have some amazing performance. And it really does, it's a beautiful operating system and I really do love this search feature. It works incredibly well and it's really responsive. So Ubuntu Unity 21.04 on the Raspberry Pi 4 definitely looks promising and it is pretty good. But like I said, I wouldn't daily drive this. It's too heavy, it uses way too much RAM for my liking, but that's just my personal preference. You might like more RAM usage or whatever, but I think it's too much for the small device like the Raspberry Pi. But yeah, this is Ubuntu Unity 21.04 on the Raspberry Pi 4. And yeah, it would be amazing if you hit that subscribe button, maybe follow me on Twitter or on Odyssey. But yeah, thanks for watching.